guys and welcome back to a beautifully calm and tranquil morning down at Loch Orr, and we are photographing Kilchurn Castle. It's absolutely lovely. The sky's lighting up behind us as you can see really nice pinks and purples and uh, composition shooting at the castle just here. So I'm hoping for a little bit of colour in the clouds but more importantly when the sun starts to come up this mountain here and hopefully this mountain here will just catch a little bit of that morning sunlight as the sun starts to come up over the horizon. It's so peaceful. It's just me and Andy down here and a couple of fishermen. And you just hear birds and it's just it's just absolutely stunning. It's really, really nice. The reflections of the water are just beautiful too. So as you can see the sky behind it. Um, me and Andy right now is absolutely on fire. It's beautiful, but um, our fingers are crossed that we're still going to get some some light come across the top of our frames. So I've taken a couple of shots already, and I'll pop one up on screen for you guys in a minute. Uh, current settings are around about 30 seconds, f 6.3, ISO 100, and uh, focusing on the castle. And um, with the focusing on the castle, it kind of just falls away into the background. The mountains are in focus, but they kind of just fall away, and the haze in the air um, kind of helps had that kind of like ethereal effect as well. Uh, two second timer and a free stop case grad on the sky. And um, yeah, tell me what you think down in the comments. So as you can see, conditions are absolutely lovely. Obviously that sky behind me is a little bit painful to look at because we're looking in the complete um, opposite direction. But we are hoping when the sun starts to come up that this mountain here just starts to light up. There's just a little bit of colour. But um, while we're waiting around for the sun to come up over the horizon, we're just mooching around and having a look at different compositions. And to be honest, I think this is quite frankly one of the most beautiful places I've ever stood. It's absolutely gorgeous when the wind completely drops. It's just us and all you can hear is our footprints and the birds and, and the geese and it's just it's just really really nice and tranquil. It just as me and Andy say it's good for the soul. I've set up another composition. Now I'm quite happy with this shot actually. I've set up a portrait orientation as you can see on my camera and I've just framed these reeds in the bottom bottom third of the image and then just got the sky falling away in the background. It'd be nice to have a bit of colour. It might look okay as well when the sun comes up, but um yeah, just experimenting and just enjoying being here. It is it's absolutely gorgeous, very lucky. Absolutely firing off, so I've um, so I've abandoned the castle shot for a minute, turned around, and uh, I spied a composition as we were kind of walking down, and it's kind of developed quite nicely now with the sky. So um, it's probably going to be a 16 by 9 crop, same sort of image again with the reflections, but we've got that gorgeous red sky up above it, and it's all kind of really nice and subdued. It's kind of pulled back, and all the colours are kind of pulled back, and it just looks really. It just looks like an oil painting, that's the best way I can describe it. So uh, settings were f11 and I was focusing on the trees in the, uh, in the middle of the frame. And um, yeah, f11, 6 seconds, ISO 50 and a 3 stop soft grad. Just pulling a little bit more out of the sky. Um, and a touch of polarisation too. 
um, an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Um, just really spend time feathering the focus wheel backwards and forwards, um, just making sure the focus is absolutely perfect. Two second timer. And just let the camera do the work. A gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Um, I'll try and revisit this composition in a minute. I'm still happy with the images though. Yeah, that's amazing. So I've got a couple of really uh, decent images from this morning's shoot and um, I've kind of lined up one more uh, panorama but um, it's kind of a just waiting around for the light. There's now some ripples in the water and it's, um, it's kind of picked up a little bit. And we're not as hopeful that there's going to be uh, any light kissing the top of the mountains. I have set up the pano ready, um, it's just a case of waiting now. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We've got some really, really nice shots. It's kind of a bit bright now. As you can see, the ripples in the water are kind of ruining it, but we'll see. Just hang around and see what happens. So we've waited another 10 or 15 minutes. I think we're calling it. Time to pack up. The ripples are getting stronger now as it's warming up and the light doesn't look like it's going to kiss the uh, even the tops of the mountain. So I'm um, happy with the shots we've got, though. We've got some really, really nice shots. I'm going to pack up, head to the supermarket, get some uh, food for the week and then make the two or three hour journey up to Torridon. So really excited for what this, um, these next couple of days have in store for me and Andy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good.